Hello my angels, I hope you're all doing amazing. So we just finished testing out a ton of new makeup from Sephora. This is the look we came up with, super simple, everyday glowy makeup look for summer. If you wanna see what I thought of the new products and how I achieved this look, then keep watching. I went a little crazy with my nails today. They are all different colors. These colors are all from Sinful Colors, which you can find at Walmart or on Amazon for less than $3. This is not sponsored at all, but I wish it was because I absolutely love their polishes. They have every color you could imagine at such an affordable price. Let me know what you think of these crazy nails. So we are starting off with a bare face today, except for my eyelashes, which I just got done. I used to get eyelash extensions all the time for years, and I took a break, about a year break from getting them, and I recently just got them back. So I'm very excited to have them. But we are starting off with a bare face today, except for my Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer, which I always talk about on my channel, and also the Australian Gold Facial Sunscreen in SPF. 50, of course we need to wear our SPF, so I already have that on. I will link both of those in the description box below. The first thing I'm gonna use is not a new item, it's actually a restock of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. This has become, oh it's fresh. This has become my absolute favorite lip balm. I use this Every single day, I absolutely love it, and I can't live without it, so when I was almost done my last one, I ordered a backup. Now, if you're wondering, it doesn't smell exactly like the Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream. I'm not sure which it is. I hear some people say Bum Bum, some people say Boom Boom. So, it doesn't smell the exact same. I would say it smells a bit more nutty, but it does smell really good. Okay, so to do our brows, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Brow Pencil. I know this isn't from Sephora, but I have been loving this one lately and actually loving it more than I love my high-end brow pencil. So I am gonna use this. Then we're gonna go in with the Patrick Ta New Brow Wax, which is from Sephora. First of all, I'm just gonna brush up the brow hairs here. I always do this before I go in with the pencil. So we're just going in with light hair-like strokes. And I do go in the same way that the brow hairs grow. So I usually go in an upwards motion near the front and then go to the side as we go throughout the brow. And I'm really not going in with a heavy hand. Now to shape the brows, we are going to go in with the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. Now this was really hard to get my hands on. When it first launched, it kept going in and out of stock on the Sephora website and it would go into stock for about five minutes and then sell out. I did pick up the clear version and I have been using this a bit. I do like this product, but I'm not sure if it's everything I had dreamed of. It doesn't give me as much hold as I would like for my brows. I have been using the MAC Brow Gel a lot more than this one, and I did include that one in my favorites video if you didn't see it. So how you activate this is you actually spray some setting spray onto it. Then you take a spoolie and run it through the product to get it going here. Okay, so I am going to brush up in the front like we did with the pencil and then brush to the side on the end. This does do a really good job of giving you those fluffy brows, but I just wish it had a little more hold to it. I don't feel as though it holds my brows in place all day. By the end of the day, my brows have kind of fallen back down into their natural shape. But when you first use it, it does give you a really nice natural fluttery look. If you can see that there. So what I like to do is brush them into place and then take my finger and kind of press them down just to really press them into place. So I have been loving mixing these two for my base. This is not from Sephora, but this is, and I have been mixing the CoverGirl Skin Milk, which you guys know I love, with the NARS Tinted Glow Booster, and this one is in the medium shade. So I mix these two, and I have been really loving that for my complexion. I'm also going to go in with this Quo brush from Shoppers Drug Mart. This is the Shoppers Drug Mart brand, and I'm actually really impressed by their brushes. 
and you can find them online at shoppers or in store now this combination is not going to give you a lot of coverage it's going to give you just a very light coverage but it does give you quite a bit of glow which i love for the summer now I am so excited to try this out. This is not brand new, but it is new to me. And I went back and forth about whether I should buy this or not. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer and it is pricey. I think this was $40 Canadian. And I told myself I wouldn't buy it, I wouldn't buy it, but I am such a sucker for a full coverage concealer. And then I kept hearing more and more people talk about it and decided I should pick it up. So this is in the shade Sepia. Sepia, is it sepia or sepia? Anyway, I hope the shade matches me. It comes in an absolutely beautiful bottle here. As we know, our glass has stunning packaging as it should for the price. So it has this kind of wide doe foot applicator here. We are just gonna go ahead and go in under the eyes and hope that it covers up my bags. Already seeming like it's pretty full coverage. We are gonna go ahead and blend that in with this microfiber sponge. I have been using this for everything, for complexion, for concealer. I even use this for cream bronzer sometimes. I ordered a bunch of these and put the rest of them on my Poshmark just cause I had to order them in bulk. And I don't need like 20 sponges. So if you wanna pick one of these up, head on over to my Poshmark. I will leave the link down below. Let me blend this out so I don't look crazy. I don't know if this is a good match for me. This is looking kind of yellow on me. I find a lot of concealers lately have been pulling really yellow and usually yellow is an okay undertone for me but they've been pulling really yellow. Let me know if you guys have found that at all with concealers because a lot of them seem to be very yellow. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. Keep in mind we are in natural light so what you're seeing is exactly what these products look like and my skin, etc, etc. So I'm not as impressed with that concealer as I thought I would be. I was really, really excited to try it and I don't know if it's worth $40 to be honest. I will keep trying it for you guys and keep you posted but it seems to do the same thing that a lot of my other concealers do and it does look a little bit cakey and crepey to me under my eyes. I will keep trying it because as you know sometimes you try something the first time and you don't love it and then you use it a few more times and you learn to love it so I will keep you posted on that. Next, we are going to go in with another new product from Sephora. This is the Fenty Cream Bronzer, which I know you guys have seen a ton of people talk about. This is in the shade Macchiato. As you can see by how filthy it is, I've been using this quite a bit and really enjoying it. Now, I did order a darker shade of this bronzer, but it hasn't arrived yet. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the mail is slower now in Canada than it was during the height of coronavirus. Let me know what the mail is has been like for you. My packages have been taking about two to three weeks within Canada and about four weeks from the United States, a really long time from the States. So let me know how the mail has been for you guys. Does Canada Post just hate me or what? I'm waiting on a, I think I'm waiting on two Sephora orders. So if you want to see another video like this, testing new makeup when that does arrive, let me know. I'm seeing red here. It looks like someone bonked me on the head. I don't know what that red is. I really don't. Let's hope it goes away soon. I love this bronzer shade, but I am thinking that the darker one I ordered Honey Glaze will be better for when I get a little more tan because I am still pretty fair right now. I really haven't been trying to get a tan this summer just because I don't want to hurt my skin. Any other summer, I would be out in the sun roasting myself, but this summer, I'm being a little more cautious because I don't want to hurt my poor skin. And you know, I can always use self tanner as well. I don't have to be always baking out in the sun, but I used to be out there. Any day there was sun, I would be out tanning myself. And you know what? I'm probably going to pay for that later in life. Okay, now we have another Patrick Ta product to try, and this one is brand spanking new. This is the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo. It does get fingerprints on it like crazy, as you can tell. So I got the shade Do We Know Her, and this is like the peachier shade. I saw these, 
and I really just had to get one to try. So this is the powder here and then we have the cream. And something I really like is the cream has this little cover over it so that you don't get the powder onto the cream. So that is kind of a pretty genius way of doing the packaging. Now, I think we are, I don't know, what should we do? What should, we do? should I use both? I think I'm gonna use both. Okay, so we are first going to go in with the cream color here. We're gonna first go in with the cream color and then we'll see how that looks and maybe we'll go in with the powder after. I hate messing up new makeup. So we're going in with the same Quo brush. I love this. Oh, that looks bright. We are going in with the same, oh. Oh my, okay. So that is very pigmented. So that is a lot more pigmented than the Fenty Cream blushes. I was not expecting that. So keep that in mind when you're using these. Maybe don't go in with as heavy of a hand as I did. But that is a really pretty color. It's giving a really pretty glow to my skin. Okay, that's really pretty. Okay, that is gorgeous. Now I'm not sure if I wanna go in with the powder because that looks so good. I really like that. And it blends out really easily. Of course, I haven't gone in with powder yet just because I'll do my powder very last. I just powder under my eyes. But since we are using cream products, we don't wanna mess around with trying to mix them with powder because that usually doesn't end well. Okay, I really like that. Now, what I'm actually going to do as well is put a little bit of the, since we didn't use, since we didn't use the powder shade on our face, I'm gonna leave that just because I'm loving the way that's making my skin look. I'm gonna take a little bit of the powder and put it on my eyes. So I'm just going in the crease here and using a little bit, I say I'm going in the crease and then I just go all over the lid. You guys know I have small eyelids so it's really hard to just go on the crease. This is a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush I'm using. And I'm okay, now I'm going to go in with powder and set under the eyes. I do not set my whole face as I do have pretty dry skin. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I've talked about this before. This powder is truly amazing and it's $10 from the drugstore. This is really the only powder I have been using lately. I'm just gonna take this Morphe brush and dust that powder off. Now what I definitely don't wanna do with the powder is cover up that glow that the blush is giving my cheeks because that's the whole point of cream products to me is giving you that glow. So I definitely don't wanna cover that up with powder. Now the last thing we have to do is of course the lips and a brand new product we are going to be trying out is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sheer Lipstick. And I actually asked over on my Instagram if you guys wanted me to try one of these out. So if you are watching, here we go. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do because I do a lot of polls over there, ask you what videos you wanna see next, that type of thing. So this is what the packaging looks like on these lipsticks. And these are the Slip Shine Sheer Lipsticks. Slip Shine Sheer Lipsticks, say that 10 times fast. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. This is an iconic nude. And this Fenty Beauty lipstick I picked up is in the shade Glazed. It was very hard to choose a shade, but this is the one I chose. It's a really pretty nude color. Okay, so the formula is very, very creamy and soft. One thing I would definitely say is if you're gonna be out in the sun, do not bring this, because I feel like these would melt really quick in your purse. But that formula is amazing. It's so comfortable, it's so soft, goes on so smooth. I really like that. Okay guys, so that is the finished look today. A super simple makeup look, testing new makeup I picked up from Sephora. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next one.
Bye, guys.